Roman Reigns has already moved on to doing movies now. His new project even got leaked. A WWE star confirms exit identity of security guard who was headbutted by Rhea Ripley on Raw has been disclosed. A former WWE US champion suffers an injury and needs surgery ASAP. Backstage report on Becky Lynch's concerning WWE status. Triple H eliminates another Vince McMahon rule. Cody Rhodes title reign not going as expected and much, much more. Let's dive right in. First up, a WWE star confirms exit. Trick Williams beat Carmella Hayes in a steel cage match on the most recent episode of NXT. After the match, the crowd chanted, thank you for Melo, which meant that he was finally moving up to the main squad in WWE. Now Carmelo Hayes has talked about how he felt about the same thing. The 29-year-old gave a big hint on Twitter that his time in NXT was coming to an end, and that's all it's gonna be. Hashtag WWE NXT. Hayes wrote on Twitter, The WWE Universe has a lot of reasons to be happy about the move. Triple H has made sure that most of the newcomers from NXT to the main roster are treated carefully and so far, a lot of them have done well. Recent events involving Grayson Waller and Tiffany Stratton show why people have so much faith in Triple H. Identity of security guard who was headbutted by Rhea Ripley on Raw has been disclosed. On Raw, the Nightmare confessed that she was hurt during Liv Morgan's backstage attack on last week's episode of The Red Brand. Ripley, enraged, gave up the women's world title and promised to beat Morgan to a pulp. Morgan walked out to a roar of booze from the pack house. A group of security guards pulled both back to avoid a fight. Rhea Ripley abruptly headbutted a guard as the other stared helplessly. The guard in question is Stephen Maines. He previously appeared on an episode of SmackDown last year, playing a medic. WWE superstar Logan Paul has responded to Dominic Mysterio's heartfelt message to Rhea Ripley on Instagram. Dominic Mysterio sent a touching message to Rhea Ripley on Instagram. Dirty Dom told Mommy to come back soon. The post got a response from none other than Logan Paul. Tag me in, Logan Paul wrote. It remains to be seen how the Judgment Day works in the absence of Mommy. Finn Balor also took to social media to show his support. He expressed his confidence in Rhea's resilience, saying that while she takes care of the Judgment Day, they will reciprocate by taking care of her and reassured her that she will come back stronger. Rhea replied to Balor's message on Twitter, expressing her eagerness to reunite with the rest of the group at the earliest. Can't wait to be back with my boys, Rhea Ripley said. Rhea Ripley recently made a visit on Logan Paul's Impulsive podcast. Mammy opened up about a number of topics including her social media presence and her bond with the WWE universe. Every now and then, I go on social media and I do check it out. I like seeing all the fans' stuff and sharing it, reposting it. But when it comes to my posts, I'll just find a photo every now and then, Rhea Ripley said. My brain works in a weird way where I can just think of like the cheekiest peachy but non-peachy sort of things to post, and it's the first thing that pops in my head. I'm like, yep, sick. And it's something that I guess connects well with my audience. Rhea Ripley returning as a babyface, WWE veteran Bully Ray thinks that Ripley will make her long-anticipated return to TV as a babyface. The Eradicator has been getting loud babyface pops for quite some time now and it looks like Bully's prediction could come true. Here's what he said on Busted Open Radio, Rhea Ripley has been positioned as a heel, it is the fans who are into her. She's got a great entrance, she's got a phenomenal look, she gets the job done in the ring. COVID-19 WrestleMania, I thought her and Charlotte stole the show. This time away is going to be good for Rhea, recharge your battery, heal your injury. And when Rhea comes back, when they hit her music on her return, WWE will have a monster woman baby face on their hands in Ripley, he said. Ripley is bound to resume her feud with Liv Morgan, who she finally makes her big return. Meanwhile, many fans believe that Morgan might become the new women's world champion. Next up, the former WWE US champion suffers an injury and needs surgery ASAP. Matt Cardona, formerly known as Zack Ryder, has now allegedly told multiple promoters that he has suffered a torn pectoral muscle and that he will be needing surgery. The story was shared by Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful. Several promoters have noted that Matt Cardona has informed them he suffered a torn pec and will require surgery. Sending our best to at the Matt Cardona. Heal up soon, the report stated. Cardona was insanely popular on WWE TV back in the early 2010s. He was getting loud cheers regularly and built a strong social media brand for himself back then. Backstage report on Becky Lynch's concerning WWE status. It was reported earlier in 2023 that Lynch and Rollins were among those with their world wrestling entertainment contracts expiring this year, with their deals set to come up in June. Big Time Bex noted in late March that she still had not re-signed to the business. A new report from PW Insider notes that officials are making it a point to ensure Lynch's new deal is finished before the current one expires. A WWE source thinks Lynch has around eight weeks left on her current contract, but the accuracy of the time frame was not 100% confirmed. The effort to re-sign Lynch comes amid big internal WWE changes and the Drew McIntyre situation. Lynch is currently enjoying the great launch of her second memoir. She revealed how she earned a big accolade just days after the book was released. 
Triple H eliminates another Vince McMahon rule. Things are different in WWE now as Triple H is now in charge of creative, and with McMahon forever out of the picture, it appears WWE might have done away with one of McMahon's rules as well. Notably, Tonga was allowed to keep his wrestling name, Tamatonga, marking a departure from the previous regime's tendency to require name changes for wrestlers coming from other promotions for trademark and merchandising reasons. This change suggests that WWE under new leadership is becoming more flexible with wrestler names and gimmicks. Additionally, Fightful Select reported that Julia, another new WWE signing, is likely to retain her name and make her debut at NXT Heatwave on July 7th. This further suggests WWE's evolving approach to talent management, which now includes honoring a wrestler's established personality and acknowledging their past achievements. Are you excited for all these changes brought forth by Triple H? Let us know in the comments part below. WWE caught Tamatonga of guard. On a recent appearance on Busted Open Radio, Carl Anderson stated that Tamatonga was going to be in the city for SmackDown, but wasn't aware that he was going to make his debut on that day. Just knowing that he was coming last Friday, he had texted me and told me he was going to show up in the city. Yet no clue he was going to debut that night either, which is kind of WWE style. They'll bring you in and then you gotta debut. They told him he was debuting and it was pretty fun to watch my friend and brother go through the fact that he knows he's about to go on live national television for the first time ever, really. I'm proud of him. Did you expect Tama Tonga to make his WWE debut last week on SmackDown? WWE Superstar Drops Major Heel Turn Tease Maxine Dupree was already dealing with Indy Hartwell's betrayal when her Alpha Academy boss turned on Zayn. This leaves the future of the group up in the air as Dupree, Otis, and Akira Tozawa have not turned heel as of now. However, the former Sofia Cromwell has just fueled theories and speculation among the WWE universe with a simple click of a button. The official WWE page on Instagram shared a clip of the exact moment Gable snapped and attacked Zayn in front of his family and hometown. While she did not respond, Dupree liked the video of her stable leader turning heel. Fans quickly spotted the engagement and raised speculation on Dupree's potential jump to the dark side. The company has not stated when the next Gable vs. Zayn match will take place. Monday's 17-minute WWE Raw main event was the first ever singles fight between the two. They teamed up last week to beat Imperium. Here is how Logan Paul pitched I Show Speed to WWE. At the annual showcase of the Immortals, I Show Speed dressed as Bottle of Prime Energy and played a vital role in aiding WWE US Champion Logan Paul during his title defense against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Speed's interference finally backfired, leading to him receiving an RKO from Randy Orton. In the current episode of Impulsive, Logan Paul shared insights into the process of bringing popular streamer I Show Speed into the WWE fold. According to Logan Paul, the pitch to involve Speed in WWE took careful discussion and convincing. When I was pitching him, I Show Speed, to the WWE, it took a little massaging, it took a little finessing for us to convince them that we had this young creator who, by the way, is still a teenager. The kid's 19 years old who's just an internet star. Everything he touches goes crazy viral because he's got that charismatic, infectious energy. I don't know. I Show Speed also has an interesting idea for WWE show. Nevertheless, we will have to wait and see if he will make his comeback to WWE television again somewhere down the line. Cody Rhodes' title reign not going as expected. The new poster boy of Triple H's regime is already being ridiculed, despite massive fan support for years and going into WrestleMania 40 to complete his long-standing narrative and finish the story for his late father, Dusty Rhodes. As viewed on social media, a Cody Rhodes backlash already seems to be on the horizon. Fans have been criticizing his limited promo delivery, lackluster beginning to his title rule, non-charismatic, and even calling for WWE to put the belt back on Roman Reigns. This is indicative of the days of John Cena who emerged as a top baby face but always drew polarizing reactions from the fans for years. Nonetheless, Cody Rhodes' first title defense is set to take place at WWE Backlash France, where he will face either LA Knight or AJ Styles. The challenger will be chosen in a match on SmackDown this week, so we will have to wait and see if his first title defense could turn the tide in his favor and bring a certain group of fans back to his side. What are your thoughts on Cody Rhodes' title reign already facing backlash at the very start? Sound off in the comments. Roman Reigns has already moved on to doing movies now. His new project leaked. Roman Reigns is supposedly working on a new project with popular American actress and singer Keith Palmer and comedians Eddie Murphy and Pete Davidson. The project is said to be a heist comedy movie. Reigns is quite probably the biggest heel of the modern era. For about four years, he was the most dominating star in WWE. His kingdom came crumbling down on the night two of WrestleMania XL when he finally lost his coveted belt to the American Nightmare. Reigns later shared a video on social media and revealed that he is now focused on starting new. He also stated mourning his loss to Rhodes. The WWE universe is already missing the tribal chief and can't wait to see him back on TV. Many fans believe that he will turn babyface upon his return and kick off a feud with Solo Sokoa and a new version of the Bloodline. 